we're going to look at a quick demonstration of how we can use Buzzy to create some pretty cool business applications. It's going to be an offline first app and we're going to do it in a few minutes. So firstly, just to set the scene, when you're creating a location intelligent application, there's a bunch of things you need to think about. So it's going to have geospatial maps, it needs to be offline first, you might not have access to Wi-Fi or, or your mobile coverage when you're in the field. You want advanced location features, so things like real-time tracking, added, adding, editing, points, polygons, and lines. Um, you also need to be able to integrate this data that you capture with the enterprise systems at the back end, whether it's the corporate GIS system or just your traditional ERP or, or, and so on. And we've got a whole bunch of quick out-of-the-box templates that make it really easy to get started. So quick, let's look at a quick example. Uh, we've got Bob, the field engineer. Um, he goes out and needs to be able to capture data in the field, take photos, get readings, and, and so on. Uh, Mary, she's the project coordinator, and she coordinates all the field engineers, and there might be a whole bunch of them. She works at a desktop. And we've got Emily, the boss. And the question is, how do we make this super, super easy? So we're going to have to look at a very, very quick demo over here. And let's just set things up. So we're going to use Buzzy. So this is we're going to create the app in the browser, um, and then we're going to have a look at um, we're going to have a look at my mobile phone, which I'm presenting um, actually on the field on the screen over here um, using a cable. And we're going to use a cable because we're actually going to go and have a look at it. So we we logged in as the same user in both, um, but hopefully we'll be able to illustrate some of the cool concepts of here of how easy and quick it is. So. Um, we get to use um, a bunch of templates. So again, there's all different types of templates for different um, use cases. Um, I, I won't go into those. You know, again, this is what we're going to do in this example is just use a blank template. So let's start off and let's create a blank application. So you'll notice on, um, I'll just get my phone um, woken up on the right hand side. So as soon as I create an application in the browser, the native application, that's not a browser based application on the right hand side, it's a fully native, works offline and we'll, we'll show you that working in a minute. So let's create over here, we're gonna create a, you know example um, field reporting app. Um, and we can you know do a whole bunch of different things over here. Uh, let's just change the cover image over here. So we'll select a, an image. Uh, let's just use that one. That's that's a pretty cool one. Um, and that's pretty remote, isn't it? So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a form to this. So we're going to add an application, and this is going to be our field report. Um, so we'll we'll uh, let's just give it a name over here. So we'll call it field report. Um, and it's pretty simple. It's like it's a drag and drop interface. So we're going to have a field for capturing some, some text. Uh, we want to be able to capture the location. Uh, and these can be things like polygons or lines or points. So we'll just start off with a point. Um, we might want to take some photos um, of things out in the field, um, as well as um, um, we might also want to know, um, let's say who submitted it, um, and this data was submitted. Um, and you know what, let's put a checklist in. So when you're out in the field, you might want um, the field engineers filling out a checklist. We'll add a checklist to this. So we're just gonna give us here, we'll give us this cool info, we'll give us field a name. Um, you can actually get a preview of what this looks like in the form, but I prefer the list view of it. It's much easier to edit. And so we're gonna take some pictures. Um, so we'll say so this is submitted by, um, who submitted it. Uh, so this is the submitted date and we're gonna have a checklist. Um, and for the purpose of the demo, we'll just keep it really simple. We'll just add a couple of check items check items in here. So A, B, C, um, you know, again, this could be a, doing a take five safety check um, and, and so on. Again, you've got a whole lot of flexibility in, in things like f down to field level access control, but we won't go into that for the purpose of the demo. So let's have a quick look at that. And you can have this as an inline form or as a modal one over here. And that's what the form is going to look like. So that's actually going to pull out my address and um, we can add some pictures in that. That's in the browser. Um, and I'll, I'll, let's have a look at this uh, working in the app on the right hand side. Um, so we'll see over here on the, on the right, we've got that app that we just created. Um, over there, it's the example um, field reporting app. Um, and if we had a look at that, uh, we've got the form over there and that is, um, that is pretty cool. Um, but one of the things um, 
um, let's, we won't create any content yet, but let's also, what we're going to do over here is let's add an advanced map to this page. So we're going to choose the advanced map. I'll let it default to the current location. The location can be driven from the data that, that we can pull out of um, the applications. Um, we can see immediately on the, on the right hand side in this native application on, on the right, it's actually got the, the, maps, the map in there as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we need to tie this map that we've just added to the field reporting um, application that's going to capture the data. And we want to do things like we want to post, let's say, pins or lines or polygons on the map. So to do that, we just very simply, we add a layer. And again, this could, um, uh, we're just going to choose this application. Um, so let's go over here, field reporting app. Um, and we're going to choose the field report um, application that we just created. And we're just going to add that layer. So at the moment, we don't have any data over here, which is why this is, you know, this particular server was set to default to, to London. If you didn't have any data, uh, it could be anywhere in the world. But um, so for the purposes of um, this, let's just go and add some content in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the mobile phone and the mobile phone over here will do things like it will bring out my um, location. So we can either add the data straight in through the form um, and then we can... Um, we can uh, add something in, so I can just, so hi, test number one. Uh, we could add um, some pictures in there. Uh, we could add a checklist. For the purpose of this, I'll just quickly submit that, and we'll see that submitted on the app. Now we can see that that there is, has added um, that item onto the, um, into the database, instantly available on the desktop. So if you think about back to the scenario, if we've got Mary in the office, she can see the stuff happening over here in real time, while Bob in the field on the right-hand side, um, he, can, he can capture data. Um, th this will also work if I go into the map. So for example, over here, if I go in and I can choose my, um, you know, get, get the pinpoint to, to my current location, um, that might take a bit of time over here. I'm, I'm, currently indoors and obviously connected to the internet, but you can have a look at that. I could then um, go in and I can drop a pin. Um, you know, I can, I can put a location in and, and drop a pin and, and, and so on. So again, that I was just clicking on that one over there. So let's go and we can now add something. So we can add a point at the current location and we can do that. So again, if we've, if we've, um, add, if we've, um, um, actually, let's just go, we'll manually add a point. So I'll just add one over here. So we'll go test um, two. Um, let's choose that. We'll submit it. Um, and then, so we added another point into that. And again, you can see that pop up instantly on the map of here on the, the right hand side. So this is like a um, collaborative you know, table or spreadsheet or database. Um, these can have one-to-many relationships, so we can have subforms and and do th all sorts of stuff like show hide and, and and do all sorts of cool stuff. But that's it. Very simple location application created in a few minutes, um, and it works offline. So let's have a look at this now. I haven't downloaded the tile, so I actually can come into uh, the map over here and generate an offline tile set. Uh, oops, wrong button. I can generate an offline tile set for this. I can draw a rectangle and do that. That'll take a bit of time to generate that depending on how many zoom levels you want to go down. Um, but for the purpose of this, um, I'll just go into offline mode. So we will lose the background because I haven't downloaded the background maps yet. Uh, we'll lose that. But I'm offline now. So uh, again, I, if, if I add content, um, so if I go and add content to this, I'm in aeroplane mode. I'm going to add in test number three, um, and um, again, I could, you know, edit some checklists. I could add photos and, and and so on. I'm going to submit that. What we're going to see over here is that this data is pending update. Um, so if I come back out of aeroplane mode, uh, what we'll see is um, the, the system will will recognize that we are out of aeroplane mode, or we're back in range of. Oops, I didn't actually. Did I turn that off? Um, there we go. Uh, my internet connection was had a problem, so we can deal with bad internet connections. We'll just retry that. That's a pretty cool part of the demo. Um, and what we'll see is when, once that's synced over here, 
that day the, that test three now has hit the server and available. Now, if two people edited the document, so for example, if the user on the left-hand side in the office edited the document at the same time, they'd get what we call a save conflict and they'll be presented with the two pieces of data or if multiple people have edited or multiple edits, they'll get to choose which one wins. So we have that um, save conflict uh, resolution, which, which is really important, especially when, when you're dealing with offline apps. So that's, that's pretty much it. Um, as, a, as a quick demonstration, um, the, uh, um, the, let's have a look at um, uh, just a couple of points to, to leave you with. And um, so we created one app and we've got it deployable to both a mobile app and a desktop. And one of the things that we do with Buzzy is that we give you the technology as well to automatically deploy these to the app store. So we take a huge headache out, not just on the app creation side, but also on the deployment to things like the different stores and also your cloud infrastructure for the server. So that's a huge benefit. Um, we're a white label solution, so we, we work through partners, only through partners, not directly with the customer. So if you're a customer, we'll get in touch and we'll get you in touch with a, with a partner. Um, we've got that offline first capability. We've got that right once capability and works on both web and you know, desktop and mobile. And we've got a whole bunch of geospatial capability out of the box. And we've got that CICD, that automation of getting things live on a server. And that's not just doing it once, but every time you do updates to the system, you can do that. And obviously, we've got that ability to update things instantly. So that was quick. Um, go to the website, register um, if you're a customer or a, um, or a partner. Um, we'll get you, if you're a customer, we'll get you in touch with a partner. If you're a partner, we'd love to work with you. Uh, thanks for watching.